What's up guys, T-Mart here, and today I am very excited to bring you guys an updated version of my setup video. So this video is kind of starting off where the last one ended. We actually did a tour of my entire house, so make sure you guys check that out if you haven't seen it yet. But today, we are focusing on my gaming setup. So you guys excited? I know I am. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so here we go. This is my new setup. So uh, one of the main questions, or some of the main questions I always get when I post these types of videos is, oh, where'd you get that monitor? Where'd you get that controller? Where'd you get that, you know, whatever it is. So I'm gonna try to name anything, and if I can find it on Amazon, I'll link everything down in the description if you guys like any of the stuff that you see. So that should uh, should help with some of those questions. But yeah, this is my setup. Let's, uh, let's walk through it piece by piece. It should be pretty fun. And, and let's get started. So first and foremost, let's take a look at all of the posters that I've got on my walls. One right here is a Call of Duty Ghosts poster. Looks pretty good. This one over here is actually a Modern Warfare 2 poster that they uh, they sent me and most of the devs from the game had actually signed it. So uh, I thought that was pretty cool. I have another signed one over here from Black Ops 2 from the guys over at Treyarch, which they did the same thing, which is awesome. And, and then finally the last poster I have is over here. And this one, as you can see, is a Zombie Labs poster because Zombies is absolutely amazing. Now, uh, starting, let's uh, let's start with the most boring part first. So over here by the closet, actually these right here are, uh, I'm really glad I kept them over the years. Uh, these are all like the lanyards and things from events that I've been to. So like as you can see, this is my season pass to Orlando Studios or Universal Studios uh, when I lived out in California. Let's get that in focus there. And, and then I've got a, a VIP to an MLG event, E3, what else do we have here? Battlefield 4 VIP, I think there's a Black Ops 2 one in here, there's like all kinds of stuff. So it's kind of cool to be able to flip through those and think back to some of the memories I've had uh, over the years on YouTube. Now, if we get this back in focus here, we can open up the closet and I'll show you guys the, uh, the mess that's in here. Some of this stuff right here is actually stuff I'm going to start giving away to you guys because it's stuff I've gotten over the years that I don't really use. So, so hopefully you guys will be happy to win some of that. This right here is kind of like my Astro shelf. I, uh, I use Astro headsets a lot, so I've got acquired quite a few of them over the years, and it's kind of like extra parts and things that I need, and old headset earpieces and stuff like that. Uh, this down here is a bunch of random crap. Like I usually keep uh, my uh, my tripod down here. I've got a, a little space heater for in the winters when it gets cold. If you guys live in cold places, you know that's the worst thing in the world to try to game with cold fingers. So I'll set that up right on my hand, so I can uh, I can be nice and uh, and flexible with those things. This down here. Is, uh, is my Alienware laptop. This one's 14 inches, and then this one, I think it's either 17 or 18. These things are both beasts. This one I'll use when it's like a quick trip, because I travel a lot, as you guys know, if you follow me on uh, Twitter or Instagram. This one I'll use for a quick trip, you know, over the weekend or something like that, because it's small, you can throw it in a bag really easily. And then this one I'll use probably for when I go out to the house for the race and things like that, to have like a pretty much full functioning desktop in a laptop form. I mean, this thing is an absolute beast, and, uh, and this thing is as well. It's just, it's a little bit easier to carry. Now, uh, in here we got a couple old PCs. Check this out right here. This is an E-Machines. Think about how old that thing is. Probably like 15, 20 years. That thing might be older than I am. I'm not sure. And I've got my first ever like uh, kind of good PC that I bought for YouTube, which is a Dell. And, and then over here on the other side, I've got another extra PC. This is my previous PC to build what I have now. And this one was a custom built one, so uh, that one's pretty good. Now up top here, this is actually a fully functioning setup, so if any YouTubers ever want to come over and hang out and make videos, they can. Like Bryn and I were actually talking about doing that. So we've got an Alienware X51 desktop, we've got a uh, microphone and microphone stand, a uh, mouse, a mouse pad, you know, everything you need, an extra Xbox. So if anybody ever wants to come over and make videos, you guys are welcome to. Now, uh, coming over to this wall over here, I'm really proud of this thing. And, and most of the stuff that you see on this wall I got from Ikea, you know, like I said, this setup in this whole house is all about balling and budget. So uh, up top we have a control freak wall decal type thing, which I think is awesome. I absolutely love control freaks. Actually, they have a new one that just came out today. It's called the uh, the Phantom. As you can see, it's all white. It's kind of a tribute to Call of Duty Ghosts. And, and I hit them up and asked them if they would be willing to help me do a giveaway on this video, and they said yes. Yeah. So if you guys are interested in, in possibly winning a, a little package of them here, as you can see, boom, there they are. Then uh, then look at the link down in the description. There should be one down there to, uh, to how you can enter for that. It should be relatively easy, easy but some. Um, Anyway, yeah, so the control freak decal up there above all of my games. Uh, as you can see, I've got all kinds of them. I'll try to get this in focus and let you guys see all the games that I have if you're interested. So, uh, as you're going to see, this left side here is all about Xbox. And then we're going to move to Wii, and it's really, really weak in that category. And, and then we get the PlayStation 3 on the right side, which is, uh, I don't know, somewhere in between. Mostly I've been an Xbox player so far. 
but but I have a feeling that's going to change with the next gen consoles. Like I feel like it's going to be a little bit more even. And, and yeah, I'm not a fanboy at all. It's just I've always had friends that played on Xbox, so that was my system of choice. Anyway, up here we've got the care package special edition from Black Ops 2. Below that we've got the like hardened edition of it and Modern Warfare 3. Below that again the hardened edition of Modern Warfare 3 along with the um, the Ghost's tactical camera that I was sent that I did a review on. So if you guys haven't seen that, make sure you check it out. Uh, down below that. Oh yeah, you guys remember this if you've been around for a while. That is the Black Ops Gold Chain that I used in my Gunner Optics Black and Yellow parody, which was uh, really awful, but still a really memorable video on my channel. Uh, down below that, this is my first headset ever. I think it's called the Turtle Beach X1. I don't know. It's probably like six, seven years old, and I still had it around, so I wanted to keep it. I thought it was pretty cool. This thing's definitely been slammed to the ground and thrown against walls a couple of times, so uh, he was a trooper, and he stuck with me. That was way before I was even on YouTube. Uh, down below that, we've got some sand from Hawaii when I went to Hawaii with a couple of Tiki guys. I just thought that was kind of cool. Below that are some books I'm reading. Over here on the other side, this up here is an ammo crate that EA sent me and it had a bunch of games in it, you know, like Battlefield and Medal of Honor and, you know, special editions and things like that. And it also had a GoPro in it and it's actually like a real ammo case, like it's metal, which is really, really cool. I really like that thing. Uh, below that is a subscribe pillow that my mom made me. Below that is the, uh, the infamous rat from my girlfriend rat prank video. You guys remember that. She's just outside. She's probably off herself right now. Uh, behind that, we've got a PlayStation water bottle and a little Vikings guy that my girlfriend bought me that I absolutely love. I'm a huge, huge, huge Vikings fan. It's my favorite sports team ever. So, uh, so absolutely, yeah, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the Vikings. Now, uh, below that, We've got my Control Freak collection. I collect these things like baseball cards. This is probably the one thing that I literally couldn't game without. It's almost a weakness. Like sometimes when I'm traveling and I forget to throw one of these in my bag and I'm playing at an event, I'm like, holy crap, I can't aim, I can't aim because I don't have my Control Freaks. So uh, yeah, it's you know obviously a sign that their product works. Now, uh, below that, We've got some controllers that I had made for me. My good friend Nick from Hydro Mods. I don't know if some of you guys might remember that. It's pretty old. But, but yeah, I thought they were pretty cool. Some of the best controllers I've ever gotten. So as you can see, there's a carbon fiber one, purple tiger, blue bandana, blue tiger, things like that. This one right here is probably the most important controller to me of all time. This is actually one of the first modded controllers I ever made. If you guys don't know, I got my start on YouTube and in the modded controller business. And I was selling them on eBay and things like that. Like you can see the, uh, the, the little button on the back here to make your G3 and Modern Warfare, uh, Modern Warfare, COD 4, uh, go faster than you can imagine. So, uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. I'm not really proud of it. Like, I hate people that use mods now, but I was one of the very first people in the world making modded controllers, which is kind of cool. Now, uh, below that, We've got a, a little kind of dish type thing that my mom painted for me. As you can see on the inside, it says, I love you so much. So thank you for that, Mama. It's a cool little Xbox controller, as you can see there. Uh, we've also got a Twitch TV flask, which I don't know how I got that or why they made them, but that's awesome. I've also got a black light grenade stress ball thing. So, you know, when I'm getting lag compensated or whatever, I can just uh, take it out on this thing. And, and then finally... I've got a best of E3 2011 nominee like plaque thing and I'm gonna be honest with you I have no clue how I got this it was in my bag when I got back from LA that year and I was like what in the world is going on I wasn't nominated for anything but I had it so I thought that was kind of cool and I decided to keep it now uh, below that we have some books and business cards and things like that nothing important now over here this thing is probably one of my favorite things I've gotten throughout my whole YouTube, you know, career or time on YouTube the past three and a half years. And this is the custom Machinima Xbox that I got. It's like a two-tone red and orange. It's got the Machinima logo with the machine parts on the inside and stuff. And it's just, it's absolutely amazing. So thank you to them for that. And I also have a custom T Martin controller that I had made for me that looks very good as well. It's got like a candy paint and it's really cool. Uh, now over to the left here. We've got my T. Martin bobblehead that Control Freak made for me, which is absolutely amazing. I actually gave away 10 of these, so, so unfortunately not all of you guys can win one of these things and I can't sell them or anything like that because they took forever to make, but, but yeah, I, I definitely want to keep and, uh, keep hold on to that for pretty much my entire life. That's pretty cool to have a bobblehead. And, and the next to that is actually a giraffe that my girlfriend painted me. She worked at a pottery shop. That's why I have this one as well, but, but yeah, she painted me this giraffe. That's kind of our thing in our relationship. I'm a giraffe. She's a pig. Uh, it's a long story how that came about. If you guys watched our dual com you might have heard it but uh, but yeah she painted this for me and it was really funny because the ear fell off when she was uh, when she was putting it in the kiln and it actually stuck to his neck so I thought that made it uh, even even better even more um, kind of memorable now over here to the left, this is the first dollar I ever made. I think it was from shoveling snow. I don't remember, but but I've always held on to that. I thought it was pretty cool, and, and I like to display it. 
Here is an Assassin's Creed 3 flag inside of like a cool wooden Assassin's Creed 3 box. I'm not going to take it out because it takes forever to get it back in. But I won this thing at a Machinima live stream tournament where I beat out like Syndicate, Sly Fox, White Boy, and a bunch of other guys in Assassin's Creed 3, which is pretty cool. Now, below this, we have some bins and stuff. Here's some printer paper, some, uh, some portable hard drives and phone chargers and things. This one, ooh, wow. This one is old school Game Boy games. Check this out. The Game Boy, what was this? The SP? Is that what it was? I can't remember. Yeah, Game Boy Advance SP. I think we, oh, we don't have the original Game Boy in here. I don't remember where it is. But we got like Pokemon Yellow, Pokemon Blue, Red, Gold, Silver. Uh, uh, what's this one called? Crystal, uh, Ruby and Sapphire. That's about as far as I made it. I haven't played Pokemon X and Y yet. I definitely need to because I'm a huge Pokemon fan. But, but I haven't given it a chance yet. Let me know what you guys think. I've been thinking about doing it. I was thinking about actually doing a Let's Play on Team Martin 2. But, but it just seems, I don't know, it seems too crazy. I like the original 150. I'm that kind of guy. I'm kind of like the hipster of Pokemon. And I don't know if I want to give the new ones a chance. But uh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And then finally over here on the right, we have random earbuds and stuff. Um, now up top here, we've got a couple of things that I'm really proud of. Hyper here is an Australian gaming magazine that I was featured in one time, so I saved that. And then over here is the official Call of Duty Black Ops 2 guide, which as you can see, written by, look at the third line down on the very, very right. Trevor Martin. Yes, that's absolutely amazing. That's one of my kind of biggest life accomplishments in my uh, in my opinion to be published in like a, a major uh, kind of you know book or whatever you want to call it. So uh, I don't know. Maybe this year for Ghosts, you guys might see it again. I'm not saying anything, but uh, anyway, here we have my California license plates when I lived out there. It's got T Martin on it. I absolutely love that. I'll hang on to those things. I think it's a kind of a cool tribute to me uh, living out in LA in one time in my life. So uh, there you go. That kind of covers. Camera stopped recording, but anyway, yeah, that kind of covers that whole wall there. Now over here on the side, we have some Call of Duty Elite shot glasses, which are awesome. They're kind of collectibles. I've never opened them, never used them, but uh, but I like them. Here are some pictures on the ledge. This one is is me, Jericho, Smooth. Absolutely love that dude. X Jaws and, and Robbie at a Battlefield 4 event, which was awesome. Uh, this one here is me, my girlfriend, and my mom, the two most important women in my life. This one over here is kind of like the original picture of YouTube for me. This is my first event, PAX East, in like 2011, 2010. And I met up with all my online friends at that point for the first time. As you can see, it's Tucker or Jericho, Brennan or Gold Glove, Matt or Dunkus, Bash, and Mark or Juistra. So uh, that's definitely a throwback picture. And then over here, this is kind of like the original OG Gamer Shore picture. We've got me, Brennan, and Tucker uh, kind of hanging out at, uh, I think it was VidCon maybe? I'm not sure which where that was at, but... Uh, but yeah, that's kind of like our, our original picture. Now, now, let's get to the desk. This is the most important part. This is what you guys have been looking forward to, and this is what I like the most about my setup. So uh, let's unfreeze the computer here. Uh, starting off over here, this is the printer. Big old bad boy I got off of Amazon. Prints really, really fast. Has like fax and iPhone printing and a bunch of other stuff on it. It's really nice. I've never really had a printer before of my own, so, so it's kind of cool to have one. Uh, over here, we kind of have like a file organizer with some notepads and stuff when I want to write down timestamps and videos and things like that. Uh, right here is a really cool, really nice thing from Ikea that's like a pull out organizer type thing that I have like boxes for receipts and warranties and things like that in and I don't know it's just it's really nice to have a nice place to organize your files and uh, organize your files and get them out of the way over here on the other side, I'm kind of flipping over the most important part, teasing you guys till the end. But right here is my MacBook Pro. I bought this thing right kind of when I first started YouTube. And, and I never really used it for editing because I like to use Sony Vegas and that's only on Windows. I boot camped it for a bit, but I never really got around to it. But this thing's really good for traveling and stuff just because it's really thin and, and really quick and really nice. So I kind of use it almost as a netbook at this point, which is really kind of embarrassing. But uh, oh well, that's all right. Uh, over here is, is all my office supplies. We've got some tapes, some staplers, all this stuff. I don't think you guys really care, so we'll just move on from that. This here is my calendar that I actually have my girlfriend do for me because she's really, really organized. And as you can see, she writes really neatly and she color codes it for me so I always know when what game is coming out or when we might be going back to visit home or, you know, whatever it is. So that's really nice of her. I really do appreciate that. It helps keep me organized. Now, here we go. The most important part that you guys are looking forward to. So... 
Uh, this is my monitor setup. I've got three, shoot, it's they're Asus monitors. I can't remember what they're called. Again, I'll link it down in the description. But I've got them on one stand. So this is like a big monitor stand that's like universal with all monitors. And it's really cool because it makes them look like they float. Instead of having, you know, three little legs across all the monitors, it really kind of frees up space and makes it look nice. So I've been really happy with that. The two on the left here, or the left in the middle, the middle is like my main, you know, kind of primary monitor. The left is my extra one. So, you know, I can open up Sony Vegas here and Google Chrome over here and it can be looking through whatever and then editing and then looking through and it's just, it's really nice for workflow. Then over on the right, if we, uh, we get this off of the little screensaver mode, boom, there you go. This is my game screen. This is where I record. So what's really nice about this is if you guys have multiple consoles, you guys know how frustrating and how annoying it is to have to go back behind the TV and switch out the HDMI or the components, you know, whatever you're using to the console that you're using and then switching them back. And it's just, it, it's awful. You know, I hate doing that, especially if I've got this big old desk in the way to where I can't really reach back there very well. So what I did is I actually got an HDMI splitter that works like a dream. So as you can see down here, this is my little shelf for my consoles. This is where I would put an Xbox One and that's where I would put a PS4 if I had them. Cannot wait for those. But as you can see, I've got my Xbox and my PlayStation 3 on. Now currently, the screen is on Xbox. So what we're going to do is if we come down here, let's get this thing in focus. This is my little Kinevo, is that what it's called? I don't know. Uh, HDMI splitter. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit switch, boom, and check this out. Switches to PlayStation 3. And then we can go back down. We're going to hit switch again, and it's going to switch back to Xbox. So that's really nice. And actually what it does is it automatically detects what type of video is coming into it, you know, what source it's coming from. So if you only had your Xbox on, and or yeah, only your Xbox on, no PlayStation 3, it would automatically put the Xbox through, or vice versa, you know, whatever it is. You know, you only have to switch if you have multiple things on. So that works really well. And then also, because I use, you know, Astros, as you can see down here, there's my headset with the custom speaker tags. And I've got my mix amp up here. Also, those, typically, you would have to change the toss link cable, you know, like the audio cable between the backs of the consoles. But what I did is I bought a toss link switcher. So as you can see down here, it's just this little thing that you can turn. So boom, that's on two, on three. So I can have up to three different audio things coming through at once, and I just have to switch it to whichever one I want. So I can pretty much play up to three consoles without having to switch any cables, which is absolutely amazing. It'll be really useful when the, uh, the Xbox One and the PS4 come out. Now, down here, I'm sure you guys are wondering about this. This thing is a DVI audio to HDMI converter, and basically what this does is it allows me to record PlayStation 3 with an HDMI cable. So if you guys don't know, it has HDCP encoding for copyright and stuff, and basically it doesn't let you record with HDMI, but that allows me to get around it. So again, if you guys are interested in that, I'll link it down in the description. So uh, yeah, that's all that. Now, in terms of my actual setup, as you can see, uh, Audio-Technica AT2020 microphone, Death Adder mouse, uh, Razer, Black Widow, I'm not sure, it's one of the mechanical keyboards that's really loud. A Razer Goliathus mouse pad, which is probably my favorite part of the whole thing. I absolutely love having this gigantic mouse pad. Uh, down here I've got my Xbox and my PlayStation 3 controllers. Typically I'll use a wireless controller for like Let's Plays and things like that. And then I also have my wired scuff down here for when I want to get serious and play Call of Duty or Halo or, you know, any first person shooter. Uh, over here I've got my Gunner sunglasses and gaming glasses for indoor, you know, it helps your eyes strain. Right here is, is my volume rocker for changing the volume of my speakers. I've got a little you know, toy Nissan GTR that my girlfriend bought me that's awesome. I hope to own one of those one day. My easy button. That was easy. That I've had forever. And, and yeah, that's pretty much all of everything that's on my desk. Now, kind of the last thing I need to show you guys in my office is this bad boy right here. So this is a gigantic bulletin board that I've spray painted black. And as you can see, I really didn't do that great of a job. But it still looks amazing. My girlfriend helped me do it. She actually did pretty much all of it. Uh, we printed out some pictures from, like, you know, family, friends, high school, and then also pictures from my gaming stuff and pictures of me and her and things like that. And it's kind of all the people that I love in my life uh, up on one board. So, you know, when I'm down here working hard on videos for you guys and not seeing daylight, then I can look up and see all the people that I love. So that's pretty cool. And it's also got some, like, momentum, mementos and stuff from, uh, from you know, life. So it's, I don't know, I think it looked really, really good. It kind of adds some uh, personal personalization to the office and it's not all uh, you know gaming stuff it's it's really nice it kind of combines both worlds so I love that and then finally the last thing in the wall right here is my very first 
Machinima contract, which I saved on 10 15 10. That's when I first started with Machinima. I'd been making YouTube videos for probably a year before then, but uh, that's when I first started. So, uh, yeah, there you guys have it. That is my office. If you guys have any questions or comments or concerns or anything, feel free to leave comments down in the description. I, I'd really appreciate it. Again, all the stuff that you may want to know, I'll try to include in the description and, you know, generic questions and things like that. I'll put like a QA and a section down there as well uh, because I'm, usually I get a lot of the similar questions in these videos. So, uh, thank you all for watching. This is the space that I'm going to be destroying videos for you guys this November. I'm going to have so many videos coming out. You guys better be ready because you aren't going to be able to watch them all. I'm going to guarantee you that. But, but try to catch as many as you can. So, uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Catch you all later. Peace out.